Hello everyone and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. In this video we're going to be trying out a design and fight challenge suggested by Justin Smith. He commented on the previous video. His, the challenge is we have to go up against three alligators to alligator twos, which are a design that I got from the Steam Workshop, and two silent watchers. Uh, I will be able to have as much or less money as whatever the total of that force comes out to, and I can only use a combination of land and airships, so no buildings, and I have to use ones that are already part of my current design, so I can't create any custom ones to, you know, specialize against those. I gotta just work with what I've already made. Now, I will mention that some designs uh, are a friend of mine. He came over, I think I mentioned in the previous video, he came over and tried out, uh, was playing some airships. I really liked the game, so I was like, hey, you got to try this game out. And so I was showing it to him, and he basically designed some ships, and we had some co-designed ones. Uh, so for the first, for this first video, this is going to be the first one, and I'm going to just try using designs that I'd made previously to that. So these are going to be designs that I'd made originally, uh, basically ones that were featured in the previous, the last set of videos when I played the Conquest. So either ones that I made during that or ones I'd made prior to that. So again, just to clarify, I'm not counting any of the ones that my friend made because I didn't actually make them, he did, and we made a couple that we kind of designed together, but again, I'm gonna not be using those either in fact that's actually one of his designs in the background which this is actually something i hadn't noticed until more recently uh, on the main menu here the designs from your library are actually show up on the main menu as you're just sitting here waiting so that's a really cool detail i hadn't noticed without further ado let's go to a combat and set this up so first of all we're gonna add building and we're gonna add some silent watchers so add we're going to just add this one there and there. It was two silent watchers and three alligators. Let me double check that. I need to check, make sure I am getting this right. Yes, it is three alligator twos and two silent watchers. So the alligator twos are, oh boy, they're a nasty looking ship. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Add airship. So alligator two from the Steam Workshop. As you can see here, these things are pretty insane. Uh, they, they have a decent service ceiling, um, but it's not incredibly good. We're going to basically just do them in a basic pattern like that. We're not going to... That, that would probably be how I would deploy these, roughly like that. We could deploy them in a line, but ha having one lower down... Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just deploy one up there, have them in a straight line. And people have commented on the Steam Workshop page for this that this looks like Pac-Man, so I believe the designer of this ship, or maybe it was someone else, I think it was the guy who designed this original one, but he basically, uh, as some people suggested, he went in and edited and changed it to where it's yellow. Paint, basically painted the entire thing yellow and renamed it the Pac-Man. But that's the alligator too. Uh, so, but yes, very much looks like the Pac-Man. The Pac-Man looks like Pac-Man. The, <laughs> uh, the interwebs. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got to work with. Uh, well, we've got the wolf spider. We're definitely going to be using this. Um, actually, I, I guess I should check... How much money do they have? Okay, they have 20,000. That is insane. Those alligators must be pretty expensive. In fact, actually, let me look how expensive they are. Yeah, they are 6,342. That is a lot. Oh boy. Uh, but again, we are going to we are going to basically be We're going to be playing against normal AI as well. He didn't specify Justin Smith in the comment did not specify what uh, kind of which one uh, he wanted. Actually, I, I did I forget to say his name? The comment was by Justin Smith. That's the, He's the commenter who suggested this. Uh, I think I might have said that. If I didn't, I'm saying it again now. Uh, so we're going to basically be... Uh, we'll do day... Uh, we'll do dawn. I, I like the look of that. Could do dusk, but we'll do dawn. Um, we're not going to do fog or anything like that. We're going to just do a straight-up battle. Uh, wait, dawn. Distracting lights from the east means shots fired from left to right or less okay we're gonna just do day that has no bonuses he didn't specify difficulty but we're gonna be just doing a the normal ai uh and then yes yeah, so let's look at our own forces so we're gonna add some okay, we're gonna start with adding some land ships we're gonna try a couple of wolf spiders we're gonna try a couple of wolf spiders uh, here now wolf spiders are probably gonna be pretty useful uh, but we're also going to try to add, we're going to use a couple of our 
Bane Blades. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. I keep, I always hit the wrong one. Add land ship. No, this is airship again. I need to actually read what I'm looking at and not just do it. Uh, we're gonna go with, let's see, Sentinels. Okay, the Russ Mark one. Uh, no, okay, so Layman Russ, we could use those, but I think we're gonna try the Bane Blade. We're gonna use the Bane Blade instead. I am a lot more happy with kind of how this design is overall. Um, let's see, how many of these can we fit? I think we need to move a wolf spider. Yeah, if we move them back, no, that's not a good place for you. Actually, yeah, let's move you over here, move you there, and then move you back there. So we got three of each. That might work. And then, I don't know if I like having all my wolf spiders up front, though. That's the main concern I have, is having them all be in the front section. I think we're gonna do something like this. That should work better. Okay, next up, we're gonna add some airships. So we've got the Achilles, which is not a particularly good one. The Arachnophobia. Uh, oh, I, that's actually, yeah, one of the ships I can't use. So the, the Arachnid Assault, which is an assault ship, which might very well be a way to go with those alligators are not gonna, I don't think I have any ships that are gonna do well against the alligators in a straight up fight, but we might be able to board them. That might be their weakness. Um, we do have the Terror, which is just a terrible design, so that's not gonna work. Uh, let's see, what are some of the ones that I actually made? Uh, the Rain Cloud was one I'm, that I made previously, and then the Aussies, I all know. And let's see, what were the other? There was one more. Yeah, yeah, it was the Achilles Mark I and Mark II. I think we're gonna go with the Mark II. We're gonna try a lot of these. We're gonna just try and. Yeah, we're gonna pretty much just try and kind of do a spam those a bit because yeah, we've got loads of money. Actually, we're at eleven thousand already, so that actually does add up pretty quickly. We'll try three Achilles. Add airship. What else do we have to work on? Maybe some Mark ones. Yeah, we're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try a Mark. Try. We're gonna do. We're gonna try two of each. I don't know which one is, so yeah, they actually have a lower service ceiling, the Mark IIs. So yeah, we'll try, try something like this for a formation. And then, what, what's that put us at money? 11,000, so we still got a decent amount, so we're going to add, nope, not land ships, add airships. And we are going to try out uh, the, uh, yeah, the Arachnid Assault Mark One. We're gonna go with this. Now this is, has a very good service ceiling. We're gonna go, we're gonna just put a lot of these. Um, obviously moving that one back so we can see what our money's at. And we're also going to see if the Revenant, where is the Revenant? Revenant Mark One, how much do you, what's your service ceiling? Because the Revenant service ceiling is a lot worse, but I think we're gonna go and have the Revenant Revenants try and capture the Silent Watchers. Okay. So this is... Now, the main thing is we don't have any hard-hitting ships, but I don't know if we're going to really be able to fight these things. Like, I don't have any ships that are going to be good against that that much... that many cannons. That's a... This is a that's too much. That's just too many cannons. We're not going to be able to match them. So I think we're going to try and go with capturing them instead. Um, so yes, I think we, we are going to go with some Aussies because, hey, they're Aussies and they're my favorite. Ah, okay, see, I was hoping the Aussies would actually have a much higher service ceiling. Uh, would have a higher, well, actually, I think they, no, yeah, that's their max service ceiling. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any Aussies, because I was thinking if we had a bunch of Aussies, we could just harass them. A bunch of Aussies, uh, but I don't think that's going to work. Now, the Aussies 2, we could try Aussie 3s. Uh, nah, rockets. I don't know how good the rockets are going to be. Um, but I do think, what is, maybe rain clouds. I mean, these things are probably going to go by, like, just get removed very quickly by these. But if they don't shoot at them, these could actually get above them and do some damage. Because these don't have very good, they have a, I think a, deck gun. I actually need to look at what these design, what all they have on them. So we are going to put 
a few rain clouds on there. And then we're going to add a couple more arachnid assaults just because I feel like it. Because I, I honestly feel, I honestly think this is going to be a, a, a kind of a... We're going to just do as many as we can without going over. Okay, so that's perfect. So we're a little bit under. Uh, actually, like, basically just a, almost exactly 100. We're like 92 under uh, what they have. So I'm actually going to add airship, and we're going to look at what the Alligator 2 has. Um, so the Alligator 2, it doesn't look like it has really much in the way. Like, it has a large crew size, but it doesn't, doesn't actually have any guard posts from what I can tell. And it doesn't look like it has yeah it's just got the cannon so it's going to be a very forward firing ship so yeah the rain clouds could work if we get above them they don't have any anti-air now the silent watchers are actually similar they lack anti-air you know firing directly above them so if we get directly above them high enough up we should be able to be out of their firing arc so the rain clouds should actually be plot be uh worthwhile they might they might actually work now the main thing is we're gonna have to get them into a higher altitude right away and my main concern is if we fail miserably in doing so they could just crash on top of some other ships but that's something we're that's a risk we're gonna have to be willing to take i think me thinks we're gonna have to be willing to risk it so hopefully, ideally, what will happen is this is a very large fleet. I'm not, I'm not actually used to operating with this large of a fleet. So the, the ideally, our Achilles will kind of take the brunt of the damage. Um, I mean, not that they're good at it. Like, the, the Achilles are actually really crappy at taking damage. But hopefully, they will draw the fire initially. And hopefully, our wolf spiders will be able to get up. So I think we're good. We're going to save this setup. We're going to save it... Um, one we're gonna do uh okay we're gonna do justin smith challenge one so without further ado we are going to start the battle we're gonna pause immediately because we got to get stuff moving. So we're going to move the wolf spiders up. We're going to move two wolf spiders up. We're actually going to leave the Bane Blades as is. We're actually going to back this one up so make sure it's got plenty of firing arc. Uh, we're immediately going to start advancing with these, just kind of advancing up a bit with those, kind of forcing them to take some damage or forcing them to hopefully target them. We are going to basically go close in flying with that. We're going to go farther back, go for that back one. And take you to there, you to there, and you to there. And then we're going to move you guys as a group. You got you three. We're going to move to your maximum service ceiling, which is all the way to the top of the map. So, yeah, we're going to go all the way up there. And then you guys are going to go not quite that high. Still basic idea, get closer in, and then we'll adjust your targets as necessary. You two are going to assault this Silent Watcher. Yeah, I'm going to move this one at a time, flip you back. So you move, flip back, so your guards are, your garrison is closer in. On the tower, same with you and you. So at this point, we are going to go ahead and fire. Now, it is lagging a bit. Okay, so those two drop down quite a bit. Um, that's interesting. You guys do not have a lot in the way of. So you, okay, we're going to pause. All three of you are going to target the mid, the front run. And then you three are going to move to here. You are going to tar board him. And I think I said you are going to board him as well. And you, so all three of you, like I said, did I, yeah, I already issued an order. And you guys are going to just move back to here and flip around. So, I think that's pretty, I think we're pretty good. You two board there, you two board there. And let's see how this goes. Come on, boarding actions, let's go. Now, you guys are set to board them. So, we just have to get you in range to do so. Same with you and him 
go. Just got to get you in range to board. Okay, boarding action is away. Now let's see how we do. Three arachnid assaults trying to board you guys. Just kind of duck back down. Actually, that one's getting lit up pretty, pretty well. But we are down two wolf spiders. So we are going to advance you up a bit. Okay, looks like that's going down. Kind of. Okay, we did capture that. So that's going pretty good. We do have a boarding action going on against them. So I definitely think the... This is actually going to be a little bit disappointing if we end up having... If we beat the challenge on the first guy. I was expecting this to be a, a little more difficult. But it looks like our Achilles are actually doing pretty good. I... I don't. I honestly don't know what this, what, what it come, what this is coming down to in terms of what is doing the damage. Like we captured this one, but honestly, we probably didn't even need to capture it. I think we're gonna try some experimenting to try and figure out what, what is like kind of what won this, won us. This, well, I say won. We haven't won yet, but I think it's fairly safe to say we're gonna. Because, well, we haven't gotten them, so we are going to abandon ship. And then you guys are going to move to there. And wow, that is loud. It won't be very loud for you guys because I'm going to adjust that in editing to make sure it's not. So you guys move to there. And you three, who have already issued a boarding order, are going to go... Well, actually, you two are going to come in like that. And you are going to come in like that. Come on, boarders. Arachnid assault troops. Okay, that's actually already killed, so I kind of boarded that for no reason. So it looks like that's going to be the last thing that we need to worry about, actually. So, yeah. All glory belongs to us. Okay, wow, let's... I mean, here's the deal, though. I mean, you look at this. Five units versus how many we had? Three Wolfsfires, three Bane Blades. Four Achilles, four Arachnid Assaults, four Revenants, four Rain Clouds. Oh, no, we had eight <laughs> Arachnid Assaults. So, yeah, you can kind of see the disadvantages in numbers here. What would be a lot much more challenging is matching their numbers. But, again, I don't have super expensive designs, so I'm going to be pretty, like significantly outgunned with anything that's just five to match the numbers. So, But, again, as you can see, numbers advantage did work. And and I, I will say I think I had a pretty good idea with trying to as capture them, even though, again, boarding them didn't actually seem to do that much. Like, it captured one, but it was already pretty badly damaged. So we're going to try this again. We're going to open a combat. We're going to open this back up. Do same basic scenario, but we are going to remove all of our arachnid assaults. And we're going to just do like this. So we are now going to be at a disadvantage pretty significantly uh yeah because we had eight arachnids assault so that's those are i think each one's at like about close to 800 or like 600 to 800 somewhere in their price range they are gonna keep the revenants actually no we're actually gonna re well no yeah we will keep the revenants just because that could potentially i mean like they're basically just cannon fodder uh they're, they're distraction units so we are gonna do that and we're gonna try this we're gonna try this one and see if we can just bite them head on without boarding because boarding I think was a good way to go but it seemed like it seemed like we didn't really need to board them because one of like two of them were already destroyed by the time we got borders on them one of them we did actually board and potentially made might have made a difference but we're gonna see if we can still do this and then we're gonna experiment even further and see if the achilles can actually fight these things reasonably on their own so we might like remove the silent watchers and just do achilles versus alligators because i'm curious to see what in my force is effective at taking down the Achilles because I was very skeptical going into this that I would be able to beat these things you know short of again like I said my tactic was boarding them which I, I you know again I think that that is a good tactic of boarding if you can't outgun them just capture them you know so anyway, we're gonna go with this pause immediately you guys are all just gonna move up here max service ceiling just move like so because they're probably gonna move some as well and you guys are all just going to move up. Well, actually, I think I moved you guys up individually last time. So we're going to do that again. You guys can just move up again like so. Just kind of keep in there. You two move to there. You two move to there. And I think we did move the wolf spiders up a little bit. I think we lost two wolf spiders last time. So we're going to just kind of do that. Let the wolf spiders advance up a bit. Okay, you crashed almost instantly. 
which is not great. I want you to get up, get back up, get some lift going. And again, here's the thing. We're going to need to run this battle multiple times because, like, as we can see, each battle is going to be a little bit different. But I'm just curious to see if these forces can actually deal with this reasonably well. Can you still move, or is your motion down? Okay. We're going to order you to abandon ship. And then we're going to move you to capture that place. So, yeah, it looks like our Achilles are getting beat up pretty badly. Let's see if we can get over here. We did capture one Silent Watcher. Now we're still caught fire. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're, we're beating this thing up pretty bad. I think it's mostly the Bane Blades back here are doing a lot of work for us. Now, the main thing in this battle is it's going to be pretty messy getting these back ones. Like, these back two are pretty much unharmed. Now, you, on the other hand, uh, I was hoping I could move you. But, nope, you just went up in flames and are going to crash, die in a fiery explosion. We're going to see if we can get you guys out of here. Yeah, you, you're stuck there pretty well. Okay, there goes the one wolf spider. And at this point, I think we're going to pretty much just move it up. Okay, wow, that makes it slow down a lot. But we're going to basically just speed this up and kind of see where things go. Okay, frame rate is tanking. Let's see if we do it not quite so sped up. Okay, yeah, we, we get back to 60 frames. So. Yeah, this is interesting. This is definitely going to be some, like, kind of interesting experiment. Like, okay, I... I think I know what we can do now. Right, with you, we can definitely take you up to there. And if we can get beneath you, kind of start using your bomb bays a little more. And you actually, especially if you can get to use your bomb bays. Now, see, they're going to get above you, though, is the problem. So we're going to back you up so you have targets still. I'm try and get you up. We're down... A Bane Blade. We got one more Bane Blade here, but it looks like they might be out of ammo. So I think ammo might be our failure in this battle. So I think it's fairly safe to say. I mean, it looks like so long as we stay above them, they can't really do much. And actually, are they out of ammo? I don't think they're shooting at us. They might be out of ammo themselves. Huh. So we're going to pretty much call it. We're going to call this a... Well, I think we'll... We might call this a draw. I think this is going to pretty much end in a draw. Because I think they're pretty... I mean, because we've destroyed both the buildings. We destroyed one of them. We've lost a lot of our stuff, of course. But we still have quite a few things that have ammo. And, like, our, our rain cloud right here... Because the way it works is whoever runs out of ammo first loses. But we have units that aren't able to use their ammo. Because the rain cloud can't bomb... They don't have any bomb targets to bomb. And I think theirs is pretty... Okay, see, that one's out of action. That one's out of action. So, yeah, we actually just start, see. Yeah, disarm, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo. So, they just ran out of ammo. And a bunch of ours ran out of ammo as well. Or were disarmed as well. That's very interesting. Very interesting results. I think we're going to... So, yeah, it looks like not boarding them actually works. Now, again, in that case, it it was more of we just outlasted them. It was kind of a battle of attrition. Uh, they were beating us pretty badly. I think they probably would have won if they'd had... I mean, if, the, if everyone had infinite ammo, basically... I, they definitely would have won. But ammo is a concern when designing ships. So potentially the alligator might be... Well, actually, it's not really fair to say the alligator is, doesn't have a good ammo supply because all of our ships ran out of ammo as well, except for like the one rain cloud that we still had alive. And that's the only reason they didn't run out, out of ammo is because they couldn't bomb anything because they were trapped between an airship and a wolf spider. So, But yeah, that's so there, there's two takes on that challenge um i'm probably going to experiment some more i might do another video covering this challenge i might tweak it a little bit uh maybe kind of expand upon it but do not feel just because i am i'm going to be kind of doing my own challenges as well since this one kind of gave me some ideas please be sure and leave further challenges in the comments below this video uh now just, just to be aware i'm hoping that people leave comments on this video and not the last one but even if people do leave them on the last one i will try and check back regularly on the comments for that one as well so either way just leave a comment either again on this video since you're watching this one you're yeah leave a big <laughs> 
Oh, wow. I butchered that. Leave a comment down below if you had uh, suggesting a challenge idea, and I will definitely check it out again uh, also give suggestions uh as justin smith did you know the alligator which is on the steam page um if, if you want to well i guess I, not if you want to that's actually a good way of presenting me with a challenge throw me up against something that's off the steam page uh and basically i have to battle designs that other people have put up there with my own designs that i've already made and i will say i didn't actually need to in this one but I was planning that if I absolutely f failed with all the different combinations of ships I could do uh, that I already had made, I was basically going to then release a second video after this one. I'm not going to now because we actually won. But uh, in any challenges that I fail with the conditions of using things I've already made, uh, if that is a condition of the challenge, I will, if I fail and I can't beat it with anything I've already made, I will then tailor does like basically tailor make a new ship to be or new ships to beat the design uh anyway that's it for this video uh, once again leave comments down below just saying that one more time challenges i want i'd like to have a lot of challenges uh i probably will stick to one challenge per video uh this one i i kind of did two test fights and certain challenges if it's really close i might uh, fight the battle multiple times so we can kind of see like what the average who who wins out on the average because again each battle is going to be a little bit differently uh, a one stray cannonball can you know catch an ammo store on fire and cause the ship to explode so there is going to be some quite a bit of randomness from that but again if 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 i feel necessary feel it necessary i will uh play the same challenge multiple times with the exact same setup just kind of rinse and repeat a few times to kind of see which one ends up averaging out as the as the victor either way that is all for this video be sure to check back for more airships conquer the disguise ah, i butchered the name airships conquer the skies and as always till next time